Well, here we are. There's Jack Smith's picture, stained glass windows. Over there, those angels up there. A lot of things. The angels are from the Charmin toilet paper. They cut their little faces out and made them into little angels. So they're, there they are, little cherubs. This was actually once a bedroom. But as art supplies built up, built up, there they are, art supplies stacked everywhere. So these boxes have become a panorama very much like the Andes. As we see, as we move through, it's sort of like a mountain range that's about to have an avalanche. Here we have an angel head. That's the wings. That's the head. See, there's angel. But the lead lights are done, they look like that. So they look more like a, like a stained glass window. Now this room, I used to use as like a total workspace. Eventually it's filled up with art supplies, which are endless. If you try to picture this room with nothing in it, that's how it was when I first moved in here, and that's when I was making the parts for the iconostasis, which is now in the Peter Ludwig Museum in Aachen, Germany. What's interesting about the iconostasis is if it, were, it could not fit into this room because it's too big for the room. So the iconostasis was made out of wood by a carpenter, and then the separate parts had to be made here individually. The separate parts are a lot smaller than the whole thing, so I made each of the parts. The materials in the iconostasis, as with most of the art I make, are basically household materials. Generally, I, I don't use many art materials. I might use a little acrylic paint or gesso once in a while. Okay, yes, the writing is very important. Taste is everything. That doesn't mean good taste either. Any taste can rise to the level of art. Good taste is the last refuge of the unimaginative. This is the room where, where the sacramentality of art is realized in, in, in the fullness of its concretization. So like there on that very piece of wood, the mensa, the altar, that's where the art happens. That's the major altar. The minor altar is another piece of wood that went somewhere. And uh, here's where I make art. This is my beloved roommate. It's a Bart Simpson doll, and uh, it's an actual skull. Very memento mori. Kind of like sobering. Oh! That... <laughs> Sometimes it hits home what it really is. And, and then I feel like Mary Magdalene. She always holds those skulls in the paintings. <laughs> 